Nice fish, holy smokes, that's heavy. <laughs> I think I got that. <laughs> you got one? Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Senko? Nice. That's a good one. Was he on anything or just on the sand? Like I didn't see anything up there. Nice one. Where's that scale? Yeah, that one is, man. What's his tail look like? The bottom of it, not spawner, no. Nice one. Yeah, let's get it on the real measurement now. Not this metric stuff. Okay. <laughs> 3.6. Nice. You want a picture? Come up here. <laughs> nice one. We'll get another. There you go. <laughs> Caught a few here before. Yeah, man. Oh, well, that might be my sponsor phone. Hey, man, if you got that on Instagram, you probably get a sponsor right away. That's at least worth a 5% discount on a bag of Senkos. Yeah, that's <laughs> I'm about making my own. Are you? Find a mold? Yeah, yeah. Lots of guys do that. But I just don't know. I think there's something special in there. I don't think so. Lots of salt, man. That's about it. Yep. I know, but I think it's just because like blood, right? Blood tastes like. Sink. And it makes them like super undurable. So that's why you go through like, if you've like thrown like a Bass Pro Senko versus an actual Yamamoto, the Yamamotos are like one fish and that's it. The Yamamoto? Yeah, for sure. But they definitely have different action than the cheaper ones. This is like just kind of where we had all those fish up there and then nothing now for a bit. But like if you're you know, fish in a tournament, you pre-fish everything, you mark that and just hit that. And then if you find another spot up here, hit the next, right? But I just can't remember where a lot of this stuff is, so. But I think we should definitely make another pass through there. Cause we even saw a bunch that we didn't catch, so. Is there one? Oh yeah, there he is. I 
We can just mark it. We can come back to it. I did that back there already. Oh, it looks like he's going for it, man. Circling back on it. You take it. It's gonna pull us off. It's sorry to pull you away from him, but he looks like he'll eat too, so. It is amazing though, like, even last year there were a couple times where you find one. Yeah. That's it. You circle back and you basically, like, I know. Around. It's crazy, yeah. right? I bet you a drop shot would take that because he. Listen, I was thinking of putting one on just because you've caught a couple on that now with a slow fall But a drop shot you could keep in place and just like let it do a slow fall like by putting a little slack in the line one on that. I don't know where he went though. I don't see him anymore. I landed a cast like right on top of it and it just spooked right out. Still pretty green. All right, there you go. Nice. Nice fish. Holy smokes, that's heavy. <laughs> that's decent, eh? <laughs> I think I just went over you there. Yeah, man. Dang. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Go for it. Where's that scale now? How do you do Canadian or American? Hold it. Hit the on button. Yeah. Or hold the on button until it pops up and then quickly tap it again. I think this is gonna hit five. Where's the other one? Four ten? So what's the rule you have to jump in the lake if the five <laughs> I can't swim. <laughs> oh good thing it didn't hit five. No. 485, 485. It pull out or break? Uh, pull, out. pull out? Oh man. My bad. <laughs> I wasn't quick enough. Hopefully would have rung our neck after that one, eh? That's it. Done that a few times before. <laughs> 
What do you got on there for line? Just yeah. like straight braid? No. You got fluoro? I always found when I would do that, I'd lose so many, or like, um, I guess lose is the term, like lose so many fish. Just, I think the, the braid, like there's not enough give, you know? So I just go straight floral with drop shotting now. Right. Like it's a total pain, but, and you don't feel as good, but I found like I hardly ever lose a fish on it. Or go to a, like a softer rod. I don't know how soft right. that is, but like. It's not bad. I'm yeah. Not like my rods are like super, super wimpy. Um, yeah, like total. <laughs> They're like a fly rod. Just cause I set the hook hard and I pull hard. So I was losing so many fish with a stiffer rod. Oh yeah, many times. I know. I f was fishing a tournament in Virginia once, um, and we were just like at the docks before blast off, and I, all I had was spinning rods because I was like skipping docks. It was like a really big dock lake, right. and these two guys, like local guys, um, they're fishing the tournament. Were uh, right beside me, and he's like, "Look at that! All spinning rods." And he's like, yeah, these guys, they're good with them too, you know? Like they'd never even seen it, you know? It's so funny. And he's got like all these deep diving crankbaits and jigs. No wonder you catch a lot of pike. Yeah. <laughs> when those things first came out, I was like, oh man, I'm gonna like slay them in Cook's Bay. Cause that's like, they were using them on Okeechobee and stuff, right? All I caught was pike. I was like, all right. I guess they don't got pike down in Florida. Yeah. Didn't look very big. There he is, see him? It's like a two pounder. <laughs> 